The next section in the book is the change of concentration with time. It is possible with a mathematical equation to relate the concentration at any given time once the rate law is known. And to do that, we use something called the integrated rate law. The equation is different depending on what order the overall reaction is. So the integrated rate law is the mathematical relationship between concentration and time. So for a first order, which basically means the fact that the rate law is like this, and the power for this one is 1, I can relate the time and concentration using the natural log of the concentration at time t over the initial concentration is equal to negative kt, where, again, these are concentrations. It's k is the rate law and t, I'm sorry, rate law, rate constant, and t is the time. So this equation, or this problem, shows you, or it talks about the conversion of cyclopropane to propene is a first order relationship. So it's going to tell me in the problem what order reaction it is. So this is a first order. Uh, the rate constant, which is simple as by k, k is 6.7 times 10 to negative fourth per second, which is the same thing as seconds. So seconds to negative 1 is the same thing as uh, per seconds or 1 divided by seconds. Those all mean the same thing. The temperature is 500 degrees Celsius. Every one of these is going to have a temperature because K is temperature dependent. So for A, it asks if the initial concentration, all right, another thing is I'm going to say that Cp is equal to cyclopropane because it's very long to write. So the concentration of Cp at time zero is 0 0.25 molar. They want to know what is the concentration of Cp at 8.8, .8. and that's going to be molar. And so my time is 8.8 .8 minutes. B, it wants to know the time is equal to what if the concentration decreases from 0.25, so that's still my initial concentration. So my concentration of Cp at time is going to be equal to 0 0.15 molar. Okay. So the equation for the first order integrated rate law is that it's the natural log of the concentration of A at times T, sorry, at time t over the initial concentration is equal to a negative kt. Now you notice the fact that I put parentheses around this. So natural log is but this whole fraction here. And natural log is a mathematical function like multiplication, division, addition, subtraction. So I can't multiply or divide anything in this parentheses until I get rid of that natural log. I mean I can divide what's inside here but I can't move one part of it to the other side. It's the natural log of the whole thing. So it's the natural log of the, what I don't know, which is the concentration at time t, over 0 0.25 is a negative 6.7 times 10 to the minus fourth. Now notice that this is in seconds and this is in minutes, so I need to fix this by multiplying by 60. And when I do that, I get 528 seconds. So this times 528. So again, I can't do anything inside this fraction. It has to stay as natural log of A over concentration T over 0 0.25. But when I multiply these two things together, I get a negative 0 0.35. 376. If you look on your calculator with the natural log button, the second of that is E. And so I'm going to do E to both sides. So this is like dividing on both sides or multiplying on both sides. What E does is it gets rid of the natural log. So what I'm left with is a concentration 
at time t over 0 0.25 and e to the negative 0.35 376 is 0 0.7020. So now I want to multiply. So A at concentration T is 0 0.0702 times the 0 0.25. And that gives me 0 0.176 molar. Okay. And as this is a reactant, this is lower than what I started with, so this makes sense. Okay. So this is the answer to A. So A is 0 0.176 molar. But I don't have a whole lot of room, so I'm going to erase all this. I wish there was a faster way to do this. I guess I could hit pause. Okay, so for B, now it wants to know what the time is. So it's the same equation, natural log of the concentration at time t over the initial concentration is a negative kt. So it's the natural log of 0 0.15 over my initial concentration is still 0.25 is a negative 6.7 times 10 to the minus fourth t. So now that I have both parts of this fraction, I can take the nat natural log of that. And when I do that, I get negative 0 0.5108 is still a negative 6.7 times 10 to the minus fourth t. So I want to divide both sides by the negative 0 0.67 times 10 to the minus fourth. And that is 4. So a negative 0 0.5108 divided by a negative 6.7 times 10 to the minus fourth is equal to t. So t is 762 seconds. Now it's in seconds because of the units of K, but this actually specified that it wanted it in minutes. Okay, so I have to divide by 60, and so my T is equal to 12.7 minutes. Okay, so this is a lower concentration than what I found for this. So as a lower concentration, it should take longer, and it did. It was the first time was 528 and the second time was 762, so that's kind of a check if I do both parts of this problem, okay? So that's an example of a first order integrated rate law.